everyone, my name is Emily and this is my painting, I'm Not Your Bitch, on Frederick's watercolor canvas. I got this canvas from my grandmother who was like, I'm old and I don't do this, please take my things. And I was like, Grandma, no, like we can do this together, Grandma. And she was like, oh, bitch, I said no. And I was like, okay, Grand Grams, bye. That is precisely, verbatim, word for word, exactly what happened. Anyway, on to this kind of mini review because I didn't go into this expecting to make a review, but because I had so many little opinions popping up as I was using the canvas, I'm like, bitch, I'm gonna make this a review. You shit. I'm gonna try to blast through this because the babes is upstairs sleeping and when I'm recording and I'm talking, he's like, no, shh, zip it, mom. I'm talking. I'm talking words. They may not be very complicated, but they're still important, like dada, mama, and poo poo. I'm not entirely sure what I did there. I just turned my child into like a Winnie the Pooh old man prospector from the gold mines. <laughs> I was, gonna, I was trying to do something cute and it, it didn't work. Anyway, I liked this canvas. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think I'll ever buy this. I'm kind of happy that it was just kind of given to me because I'm not wild about it. Let's start with some of the positives. I really did like the overall texture. Um, the only little problem with the texture was I couldn't use my very fine micron pens to fill in tiny details, but that's kind of true across the board with anything that has a very bumpy, deep texture. These canvases are archival and 100% cotton, which would be great, except uh, didn't really behave that way. You were able to move the water around for a lot longer than you would on other maybe watercolor paper or canvas or board. Um, and you were also able to reconstitute already laid colors for quite a while. Um, but those last three things that I mentioned kind of segue us perfectly into the cons. Now, please understand that the cons that I'm talking talking about are cons for me and what kind of painting and art that I like to do. These cons may not be cons for you, you know, they may be pros. So who knows? Just take this with a grain of salt. Typically, when a watercolor canvas and or paper has a lot of texture, it takes a little bit longer for the water to absorb because it kind of has more uh, hills to navigate. This is, of course, opposed to something that may be hot pressed where it is completely smooth and the water is able to absorb quite quickly. And obviously, we must take into account the sizing of the paper and or canvas, um, if it rubs off or if it starts to kind of decay over time, um, the water is going to absorb into the canvas and or paper differently. That all being said, the water took absolutely forever to absorb into this canvas. It would just kind of sit in a puddle on top and I'd have to kind of move it around and sop up the extra water over and over and over again. It just really was wasn't very absorbent and then it also kind of reached a limit to where like I was saying you know you could reconstitute the colors that would be great except for when you're glazing like I did pretty much exclusively in this piece it pulled up everything that I had laid down and what was also annoying is when I tried to go in to fix that it started pulling up even more layers that I had laid down so I, I was basically losing my mind something else that was a little annoying was that um, I, I like my watercolors to blend pretty seamlessly. Uh, of course, I do love the kind of chunky watercolor effect with kind of like the rim of pigment. I, I do, that's attractive to me, but I usually don't use that style in my art, unless it's in the background maybe. I felt like no matter what I did, I couldn't seamlessly blend my watercolors. It's like it always had that very chunky rimmed look. And I'll be damned if you put a rim job in my... <laughs> no. <laughs> and I'll be damned if you put a rim job. And I'll be damned if you put a rim job in my painting. I've got too much integrity for that. I have no idea why I'm not demonetized yet. <laughs> I have I have literally no idea. You are allowed a very moderate amount of swearing before you get demonetized. And I try to keep my swearing at that moderate level, if not low sometimes. Anyway, I got off topic. And I think that shows just literally how meh I feel about this canvas. It's just not something I would go out of my way to use again. Um, if the cons I listed sound appealing to you or sound like they might work with your painting style, um, then by all means, the Fredericks canvases are priced relatively well um, for being 100% cotton. So, you know, ain't nothing stopping you.
anyway, I really missed drawing my badass, tattooed, you know, don't give a crap about nothing, video vixens uh, with the thick black outlines and the really rich color palettes. Um, so I decided to go back to my roots lately, just kind of dipping my foot back into my foot pool. Sometimes words escape me. My brain, it goes blank. And then darkness. Dark side. What am I talking about? Swear to God I'm not high. I just, I need more coffee. Just plain and simple. That's what I need right now is more coffee because I am drained. My brain is fried. Anyway, I enjoy drawing my video vixens and I want to keep doing it because I know you guys like it and I know it makes me feel good. So that's what I'm going to do going forward. And you know, sometimes certain song lyrics or poems or even just phrases or quotes stick out in my head and I add them into my pieces because it just feels right and for this picture I'm not your bitch felt so so right it just it fit because I am all for being an independent woman being able to take care of yourself the same way I am for being an independent man being able to take care of yourself let me just put that out there right now don't be anyone's bitch nobody should be anyone's bitch unless it's in a maybe sexual way Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> and don't forget to stay out of trouble. See you guys later. Yeah.